All right, so we're back at Greasy's Garage here, and we are going to step or Z the frame in the back, and we're going to prepare the rear frame for coilovers. Um, this is going to be a little bit more radical, drivable um, type of Model A setup. So uh, we need to Z the back of the frame to get clearance for the rear axle and get clearance um, for the coilovers. So how I like to start that is to just roll the axle underneath the frame, kind of get it squared up, kind of get an idea how much width that you need to come from the, the back cross member to the front to Z it. Um, there's not really any specific math, like this is the only way to do it. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. And the way that we're gonna do it is just eyeball it from the center cross member. So to get the wheelbase, um, it has to be, it has to act like it's a spring over the rear axle. This is where the Model A spring is. So to get the wheelbase correct, we're gonna make sure the axle stays um, directly underneath this center cross member. That'll get our wheelbase correct so it doesn't look odd on the body. Uh, then now we just need to get clearance up. So just eyeballing it, it usually ends up being four inches from the rear cross member. That's not the only way to do it. Um, some guys do radical Z's, but we're gonna cut it, set it on top and just box it back in. That's the type of Z that we're about to do. So check it out. All right, so we need to brace it in the back. So we have our square tubing again that we're gonna weld on here and brace it as closest to the cut as possible. Um, so we're gonna go, you can go from here, Jeff, four inches forward. Okay. And that'll be our cut on both sides. Okay. Then we just need to get a square so we can mark it all the way around. Sure. Need to square that up. Yep. And we're going to cut it now. Now we do have to brace it on this side of the frame. This side of the frame, I've never seen it where it needed to be braced or where it ever was an issue. And the old timers, when they explain it, they don't brace the back side either. So it should be fine. I okay. back on. We're going to try to match the edge as best as we can. So we're going to tack it in place just so it's holding. And after we get it where it's kind of holding itself, we're going to put a level on the frame and a level on the cross member to make sure they're both at the exact same angle. That's how we do it here at Greasy uh -huh. Garage. So we're looking at minus one. And I'm just 
just got to get the angles to match. Last one. Almost spot on. Just a tad down. Okay, my side's good. You want to double check your side? Okay. Make sure I didn't move your side now. Now let's double check, let's roll the axle back underneath, and we'll grab your um, coilovers, see what kind of space we're running into now. So, this should get us in the ballpark for at least trying to mock up the coils. Okay. Whose coil springs are these, Jeff? Uh, Whose coil springs are these? They're AFCOs. AFCOs? Yeah. Oh, they're the ones you like. Yeah, AFCOs what we use on all of our race cars. Yeah. Make sure we have enough space. Like, make sure the step's big enough for what we want to accomplish here. So, that's the bottom one. We probably can even go up one, maybe. Okay. So, with our, with our mount. Cut that off. Because this bar right here coming out has to kind of be parallel with the frame as much as possible. Yeah. I can put us right here. Should be nice. Yeah. So, do you want to put it through here or do you want to put it on top? Um, well, it'd be sturdier on top, technically, because we'd have this surface to weld it to, not just yeah that surface. So. So we got box tubing and cut it at an angle to fill the step here. So it's gonna fill it there. We're gonna make another cut, fill it on the bottom. Then after that, we're gonna plate it all together with one big plate. So this is gonna be as structurally safe as it possibly can be. So we are building this whole chassis, roller, drivetrain in it in two days. And I wanted to make sure I didn't skip in over anything on the step on explaining it. So just a real quick overview before you cut it, put the one inch tube in here to brace it on the back. You don't need to brace the rear cross member if you cut it within four, five, six inches. There's not that much for it to move around because it has this corner bracket right here. It'll actually um, kind of braces itself anyways. So we cut it as true and straight and even as possible on both sides, lifted it up, clamped and put a tack weld on the bottom of the frame on the back of the cross member. So it's pretty much just a straight step up from the frame. It's a very uh, small step. Gives us just enough clearance for our coil springs um, to fit underneath the rear axle and give us the right height that we're looking for. Then we got it level and leveled the frame in the back portion of the cross member to make sure its level is exactly the same, the exact same degree. And we made sure that it was as square as possible left and right. Um, so that should give us a really good uh, setup for what we're going for. A lot of guys Z these a lot higher. So you have a bunch of options, but what I recommend is getting that box tubing, cutting into triangles and welding that in for your step, but then also getting like eighth inch plate or even bigger if you have uh, availability to and put it on the inside. A lot of the guys get really dressy with their plates. They put in a really nice plates on the outside for looks, but it's also for strength, even though it looks nice. So make sure you plate it as well. It just makes it that much safer. Uh, give you that peace of mind going down the road 80 miles an hour later on. So uh, we go ahead, we went ahead and just squared up the frame and tacked in our boxes for the back side of the frame so we could put the plate over the boxes. So it's just that much more strength right here on our modification on the back. So this is really simple. 
It's all about measurements and it's all about knowing what you want out of your drop. So just do the math, mock everything up as much as possible to get your mind right on where everything needs to be. It's very simple, don't be afraid of it. Now stop watching this video, work on your car and get your shit together.